Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 2019 69 plate BMW 430i Grand Coupe. This is the M Sport with the auto gearbox, finished in Alpine white. The car was registered September 2019. The mileage is 18,600, uh, sorry, 18,864 miles with full BMW service history. And we're going to take you around the car, show you all of the options on the car, the condition of the car, and any minor little tiny chips or anything that we might find. So a very transparent video. Now all of the cars here are machine polished, uh, both rotary and with an orbiting mop, which gives a very high glossy finish. So basically the, the, the paintwork generally comes up a lot shinier than even when they were new. Now we've got some great options on the car, one of them being the adaptive icon LED lights. Now these lights will actually move independently either side to steer the, or, or direct, sorry, the light around the cars coming towards you. And also when you're behind a car, it will spread the beam around that car. It also has high beam assist, so that will automatically dip your headlights when you come into a lit area. All this is done with diodes and a camera situated in front of the rear view mirror. Just up here, there's a camera. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's a little camera there that shines out. Now, if we come down onto the bonnet to start with, if I can hold this still enough, one-handedly, I'm gonna take you across the front here and just show you that there are no nasty chips or anything. I've had a good look around the car before I started the video. We come up onto the top. There's nothing at the back there. The windscreen, by the way, it doesn't have any pitting in it hardly at all. You, get, you know, stones obviously hit windscreens and you get little dots on them, but it's, it's very clear. It's in lovely condition. Previously owned by a lady that we purchased it from and she purchased this car from BMW. I think it was a demonstrator. She was the second keeper, but the car, she, she got it in March basically and it was registered the September before. So it was only a few months after the car was registered new. We come down to the front bumper. You see that the headlights are very clear, the lenses. We fitted some really nice black gloss grills. There's no pitting on the front. There's no nasty chips. We move right the way round. Nothing at the bottom. Just come round to this side. Really nice condition. And if we look down the side of the car, you can see that the panels are absolutely flush. There's no ripples, it's not had any paint work. It was also fitted with uh, black gloss wheels from new because they're usually like a sort of ferret gray, I think it's called, or orbit gray, one of the two. We'll take a look down this side of the car as well. So the car has M Sport Plus package as well. So that gives you the 19 inch 704M alloy wheels with the M Sport brake calipers. There are slightly bigger caliper, stronger brakes, all in lovely condition, no marks on any of the wheels. Again, we'll move out in a minute. All the wing mirror covers, all around the door handles, it's got comfort access on this vehicle as well, another option. So you've got like a little, if I can zoom in, that little grill bit, put your finger on there, the car locks, put your hand inside, it unlocks. Door edges, absolutely immaculate. No chipping on those door edges. A good set of tyres all round, all on run flats from new. If we 
come back out. The Grand Coupe is so much sleeker, more sleeker, sorry, than a, a free series. Totally different shape being the, the coupe. Pillarless doors, a big hatchback. So a very practical and sporty family car or just, you know, a car for yourself, really. If we come up onto the roof, there are no scratches, chips, no bird dropping marks. Bird droppings can do a lot of damage to the paintwork and you can't always polish it out. You'd have to repaint the panel. So make sure you don't leave bird droppings on your car. Sun protection glass at the back, as you can see, that reflects the heat back out of the car. Now on these later ones, the rear lights as well, I say as well, are um, darker, shadow line, I think they call it. So they're not as red on the actual lens, which is a lot nicer. I'll just bring you up on top of the boot lid there. Nothing on there. I think there was a little chip somewhere here actually. Just, it's very small, right in the center there, just a tiny little chip that we've touched in, but it's very small and you wouldn't want to paint the boot lid just for that because it's nice to keep the car original. And then on the later four series, they've changed the diffuser bit at the bottom. It's a little bit nicer. And then if I come down, all of the tailpipes are really nice and clean, all up under the car, really nice condition. Back bumper, we'll take another look at that when we open the boot lid. So we'll just come round to this side. We're coming close first, so I just want to show you around the filler cap. No scratches. We open that up. All nice and clean in there. And as you can see, this car will run on not just the E10 fuel that came out not so long ago, but also E25, which is uh, even more ethanol. Come down and see this back wheel. Again, oh, sorry, let's get it in focus. All in lovely condition door edges, and then we do the front wheel. All of the discs are in really nice condition. All of the cars um, go into our BMW approved specialist and uh, any service work that's needed goes into the iDrive in the car and onto the BMW service platform. All the cars are plugged in to make sure there's no fault codes, etc. before they go out. Let's just come back out over here. These adaptive icon lights are a different shape um, LED light inside, so they actually look a lot smarter as well. If you saw the two next to each other. In fact, we've got a car behind this has BMW's LED lights. You can see that they've got the tubes. There are white lights as well, but they're a different shape entirely. These have got a more aggressive, sporty look. And if we come in, you'll see there's a pattern on that uh, lens. And the outside light on both sides, like I say, it can, they can move independently. So they can, you know, light up around vehicles, either in front or behind. So let's take a look inside. So we've got the black Dakota leather with the blue highlighted stitching. 
just come in and there you go. It's a few where we've been cleaning the car. The camera picks up where your fingers have been annoyingly. <laughs> so, anyway, let's uh, come down. We've got the puddle lights at the bottom there, but no damage. That's the important thing. No scratches on the door handles. They're about a hundred pounds, these door handle covers. So we've got the Harman Kardon sound system. So about 16 speakers in all in the car. The speakers under the seat in the door cards, up on the back parcel shelf, up in front of the iDrive. There's an additional speaker. You can see just how clean the car is inside. All of the carpets and the mats in really nice condition. Now on the 430i, you get electric, full electric seats and the driver's side has the memory. You've got the little bolster button there in black, which inflates the sides of the seat. And then with the blue highlight, you get the BMW colors in the piping there. Got center armrest, iDrive control wheel. You can just see if I hold this nice and steady, if I can, no scratches. We've got heated steering wheel on this car as well. We'll show you more of that in a minute. So we'll take a look in the rear. And again, the door card, all in really nice condition, no damage on the outside edge. Puddle lights down there. No scratches, the Harman Kardon speakers, and then the door shuts. No dents, no scratches, the seat belts haven't been jammed in the doors. All of the back of the front seats in really nice condition. And the air vents. The Isofix, got centre armrest, let me just come round, I've got the window open, it's a bit awkward, there we go, and as you can see they're pillarless door frames, no door frames sorry, so we'll shut that one up, now because we've got comfort access with the key in your pocket, you can basically put your foot underneath the back and the boot will open up on its own, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is try and capture the top of the bumper here to show, see if I can get the light about on. There's no scratches, digs. Really nice condition. All the way round. You can see how thorough we are with detailing the car. We do a product called Life Shine as well. Sorry, my paperwork just got in the way. Let's just tuck that in my back pocket. And to protect the car, we do a product called Life Shine. It's a carbon shield technology, and it has a lifetime warranty for the time that you have the car. So if it uh, starts to wear off in any way, they'll reapply it for a charge. Now this car is also fitted with extended storage, and what that actually gives you is a, an extra 12 volt socket in the back, sorry, and that elastic on the side, and then there's a cubby hole underneath the light switch at the front to the right of the steering wheel and you get the cargo net with these little eyelets. I think that's not in the car at the moment and we've got nice clean storage space underneath. And I've checked all of the parcel shelves and you'll notice up here because we've got the uh, comfort access we can we've got two buttons up here so we can actually lock the car up 
using the padlock one. We're just gonna, you can close this either with the key, waving your foot underneath or with the button, obviously. Just gonna come down and show you down here again. LCI rear lights. Take a look in this side. Again, immaculate, the door cards, really nice. There's no damage, no scuffs, no scratches. And again, all around the door aperture, all really nice and clean. Try and keep this in focus. There we go. Back of the driver's seat as well. Just trying to focus on what I'm doing. Right, that's come out of that one. And again, no scratches. Open up the door. Just turn those lights off for a second. So again, this is the door that gets all the use, obviously. No damage on there. Whoops. All clean right the way to the bottom. The lights have just gone off because the car's been turned on for some time now. That happens on all of them. If we look at the seal along here, no scratches, there's your memory seats. All up and around, all the rubbers in nice condition. And um, I just wanted to point out, we've got electric folding anti-dazzle mirrors. Now the mirrors will fold in when you press and hold the lock button, or you can use this button, but like I say, the car's just shut itself down. But these are anti-dazzle mirrors as well. So you don't get dazzled by the cars coming up on the outside or the inside. The steering wheel, all of the leather, no scratches or no damage. The auto lights there. And then that's the little cubby hole I mentioned just below it. The base of the seat, the bolsters. Okay, let me, uh, so we've got, oh, come on, let's get some focus. There we go. We've got voice activation there, all the modes for the black panel display. We've got cruise control, speed limiter. Right, now's probably the time to jump in. Just jump in the car and move this seat back a bit. So keyless start. I'm going to flip those back lights back onto auto now. In fact, let's put the lights on. That's better. So there we have the mileage, 18,864. Now, the mode button on the steering wheel, just down here on the right, if I hold this nice and steady, when you press the mode button, this is the full back black panel display. You can flip through your DAB channels, FM, AM, the music collection is the 80 gig hard drive in the car. And we also have save radio stations as well. And if you press the bottom button for the telephone, when the phone is connected, it will show the previous dialed numbers. Now also in that window, it will show you what drive mode you've gone into as well. Now this car is also fitted, and I should have mentioned this earlier, with the adaptive M Sport suspension which is a very desirable option. So what that basically means is the shock absorbers on this car are totally different to the standard ones. When you go into your drive modes in both Eco Pro and Comfort, the, uh, the suspension is relaxed. There's a valve on the shock absorbers which allows the fluid 
uh, pressure to, to change and um, you can actually configure it so when it goes into sport it will stiffen up and give you a more dynamic handling ride now they all have this button that changes that, that shows you these driving modes but it needs to be fitted with adaptive M suspension from factory in order for it to change the ride there are some cars advertised without mentioning any names and people are putting that they've got adaptive suspension and they don't have it I can assure you that we do spec check these cars and check them and this one does have it so also if we go back into eco pro we can configure in here you can see the percentage of economy down here if you reduce the recommended speed oh sorry the other way down to say 60 it's now changed the efficiency to 97 percent coasting basically when that's ticked that allows the car to almost go into like a neutral when you come off of the throttle so you can come off of the throttle a lot earlier as you approach a roundabout and just coast up to the junction and it will give you a uh, better fuel economy it also adjusts the ECU setting for the engine so it feels a little bit flatter on the throttle but you generally use it when you're cruising so it doesn't really have any effect but you get better fuel economy and down there in the blue it will tell you how much more mileage you're going to get using that mode so coming back up here um, so we have the eco pro the comfort which is a balance setting the sport now where you can configure it oh sorry wrong button in here and like I say they do all have this option but it won't do anything unless you've got the adaptive suspension I know I keep repeating it but it's important so drive chain is the power engine power and chassis obviously the shock absorbers so when you go into sport you can have it so it changes both or just the drive chain so that the chassis will stay in comfort mode and you just get a bit more performance more agility on the throttle control and then if you go into Sport Plus, that will turn off part of the traction control. It turns off the dynamic traction control and leaves on the dynamic stability control, which you can turn off pressing and holding this button. You can see we've already got one lot of the traction control. If you watch down where it says P in Sport, I'm gonna press and hold it for a few seconds and then dynamic stability control is turned off as well so that's everything turned off most cars have more than one type of traction control i think one's more pulling away uh, grip related and one's more lateral for when you're cornering okay so that's going to show you that this is all touchscreen by the way and we can move all of these around and put them in let me just move this camera so there's not so much glare. There we go. We can move these around like so. Now, if we go into map, we've got it on split screen. So we're pulling the um, iDrive wheel over to the right. You can choose what you want displayed on this right-hand side. Like so. Now, if you go right to the top, we can delete the split screen and go into full screen. We go over to the right. We've got the sub menus here. Spoken instruct traffic information, additional information, um, like satellite image. You can change the way the screen looks. For example, if we come down here to map views, in direction to travel, that's looking straight down. That's ideal for city centres. We've got lots of junctions you want to work out. Now, using the, the buttons down here, we can use these as shortcuts. So, number seven in direction of travel and perspective, we'll put that on number eight. So, rather than having to go in and change that at the press of a button, we can now change the screen like so. If you run your finger just lightly across the buttons, it's not going to do it for some reason. There we go. There we go. You can just run your finger along there and see what you've got on there. You can save telephone numbers in there as well. So you can save, you know, your other half's number on number one, etc. Now let's come, let's go. So all your media is in here. 
DAB, etc. Music collection, Bluetooth audio. Now we can um, get CarPlay fitted to the car. We can't fit Android, the BMW doesn't do it on this model. But uh, the CarPlay that we have fitted is full screen CarPlay. I've got the equalizer there for the Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, actually, I don't think it's fit, no, yeah, okay, that's fine. So I'll come out of there, communication, connected drive services. This is where you can uh, subscribe to different features with BMW. Right, my vehicle. So this is where you've got all of your options, driver profiles, so you can set different keys up to memorize your um, radio channels, seat position, uh, mirror position. So when you get in the car with your own key, it memorizes all those those th things and uh, sets it up for you. Got tire pressures here, just wanted to show you service history so engine oil next may brake fluid brake pads 28,000 miles rear pads all the brake pads are good service history is in here so that's the pre-delivery inspection or check as they call it this would be oil and microfilter so they're every 19,000 miles or two years so this was done uh, on time engine and microfilter the next one will be brake fluid usually yep brake fluid but the car will go in for a check over and um, if you give us a call we can tell you that that's all done. They're all test driven as well on the motorway. So I'm just trying to remember where I'm going next. I think what we'll do is come down here to the climate control. We've got the uh, interior lighting. So this is currently in what they call the classic colour which is orange, and you can have it in sport, which is um, lit with a very white LED light. It that doesn't really show up that much, so it's better to have it on this color, I personally think. Uh, heated seats there as well. All of this black gloss trim um, is all machine polished as well, believe it or not. We have many different polishing mops of different sizes for different things. So everything, all the books in there really nice and clean down here as well if you look in there where the cup holders are beautiful condition non-smokers car and then this is the eight speed zf gearbox which we have the paddles up on here this is the button here for the adaptive sorry it's not in focus for the adaptive lights And then we have got sliding armrest. And then we've got a USB charger in there. The iDrive wheel. And you can write on top of this with your finger. So if we go into map, there is another shortcut, shortcut sorry, that takes you straight into, uh, I'm not concentrating here, Scott, are you? Come on, route guidance. Enter new destination. Address input. That's why I went down right. So when you go into here, you can write with your finger. There's also, so you've got voice or writing. As soon as you put your finger on the pad, start writing. Oh. You'll learn how to write left-handed if you're not left-handed. And if you want a space, go from left to right, look. Space. Space, so you can do all of that. And then it shortcuts over to the left. You know, I didn't put it all in, but you can shortcut it to the left to find the address. I think we've done enough in here. I, it's so clean in here. It's hard to catch on camera because we've got light coming through the windows, but let me just pop it back into comfort. I'm gonna pop the bonnet so it's two pulls. And then we can just lift the bonnet straight up. Now this car is a four cylinder twin power turbo. So what that, oops, sorry. 
essentially what that is is it twin scrolls so two inlets into the turbo from uh, splitting the, the the cylinders up so the cylinders as they fire two port two uh, cylinders go into one side of the turbo and the other two into the other it allows the turbo to spin up quicker it's more efficient more powerful and this car produces, I think it's about 248 bhp. It's probably like 254 ps. But with a Celtic remap, it will go to 280 and just over 300 um, pounds per foot. I think it's, I left the paperwork in the car with the figures on. But if you want to know more about that, I can tell you. Just give me a call. But yes, you can get a remap and take this car up to 280 brake horsepower. Now all of this engine bay been cleaned by hand very carefully any leaves in here all hoovered out we don't jet wash in there you don't want to turn it into a sludge nice quiet engine everything sort of uh, amplified in the showroom sound wise just try and get the light coming in so as you see the engine bay is really nice and clean and also I don't think you can quite see it on camera but it's just as shiny underneath you'll probably see that in the pictures that I take but beautiful condition if you're looking for one of these with some nice options this is a really nice example So we've got some fantastic extended warranty offers. We can take, uh, sorry, you can take up to four years on a warranty. The warranty that we can supply, the extended ones, uh, can, will cover wear and tear, that there's so much they cover. They're on par with the BMW warranties, if not better. Ours actually cover oil seals and gaskets as well. We have um, lots of finance options, HP, PCP, lease purchase. I could continue with telling you all about all of that, but it's probably better that you call me. I'd be happy to chat to you and run through all of that. So thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I can see that it's been running for 32 minutes now, so you might need a drink. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.